Hi, welcome to the Lawcast. My name is Melanie Thorley and I'm a solicitor here at MJT Law. <clears throat> Today we're going to look at the Lincoln Lawyer. It's called 12 Lemmings in a Box. Now I can only assume 12 Lemmings in a Box means the jury. And we're going to have a look to see uh, what's going on here with jury selection. Hello and welcome to Jury Duty. I'm Mary Calder, presiding judge of the Los Angeles Superior Court. Okay, so the jury in a room with a TV screen watching a some type of, I'm going to call it video streaming or you know, teams meeting with the judge and looks like they've just got like a gajillion people in the room ready to be jur jurists. It's not so far from the truth. Um, let's just see how this plays out. It's a bit weird that the, that the person who's talking to them is a judge and it's a bit weird that the judge is not there, but, you know. As I'd like to say, there is no justice without you. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a pre-recorded video. It all begins in the jury services office, where your name was randomly generated from voter registration rolls and other public sources. Okay, it's probably true. How come whenever I get called for jury duty, it's at some court all the way on the other side of town? Ah. <laughs> it probably is always in some court on the other side of town. It's really funny because pretty much that happens. You're called up for jury duty and you're called up to turn to court and that court space is could be anywhere. Um, fun fact, lawyers won't get called up for jury duty because we cannot be jurists. Apparently we know too much about the law. Who knew? Because they assign jurors randomly from all over the county. They do? That way you get a diverse jury pool. That's the theory anyway. What's the reality? The reality is it doesn't matter where they come from. Almost none of them want to be there. <laughs> it's very true too. The case depends on them. Yep. Your sucky jurists don't want to be there. No one wants to be there. These are the people deciding my fate? Yep. And they start right now. So don't say anything. Don't smile. Get your head down. What do you think I've been doing for the last six months? No, he means literally. The cameras can whip around and actually cause a concussion. Yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely true. You do not speak to the media. I know people do, and that's fine by them, but I am of the view that it doesn't help my client's cause and it doesn't help the situation, so we don't speak to the media. But it looks to me as if the media are about to turn up and they're inside the court. Let's just take a look. There's a huge media scrum asking rando questions to, to the clients. Okay, I call bullshit. <laughs> Media aren't allowed inside courts. That's why they hang around outside the court for all day waiting for the matter to finish and these people to actually leave. There's no inside the court media scrum. What the hell? Big thumbs down. I don't know who this pretty girl is. I just walked past her. It was just weird. <laughs> Believe me, people in court are not always that pretty. I just... <laughs> I love this about TV shows. It's always got beautiful people everywhere. <laughs> Cracks me up. The truth is at least of my concerns. I don't want fair-minded jurors. I want them biased as hell. That's true. Biased for me. Yes. I want 12 lemmings in a box. And the DA wants the exact same thing. So I try to get rid of his lemmings. And he tries to get rid of mine. That's how you pick a jury. Which means no one gets any think that they want. You have a press like a pro out there? Case as big as this, you can't get many of those. Once you get through those doors, it's just another homicide. I think I haven't seen before. <laughs> so again, we've got the two solicitors having jibber jab, and he's basically denigrating our friend uh, Mickey Heller here. Um, almost never happens. I've I've had one experience in court where I've been stood over by a solicitor and basically told me to, you know, pull my head in. Um, I've been a solicitor for a long time. I've only happened has happened to me once. He handled himself pretty well though, so thumbs up on that. This is all gonna move fast once the jurors come in. I'll input the basics right away. Age, ethnicity, flesh it out as we go. Colored pens and posters, is he for real? 
You know they make software for that, right? Yeah, the computer can't hear how somebody answers. Can't read their eyes. Oh, they can, though. Actually. They're waiting for the jury to come in so they can start kicking them out, saying they're not going to be... Go get them, Tiger. Looks like... Uh, big dozens of judges are in good hands. I read about how this works. Once they take their seats, they're on the jury unless they get cut. That's right. My job is to figure out who to cut, who to keep. This is true. Our job. He just looked at me and what? This is my domain. Just leave it to me, okay? And it's Essentially, the lawyer's just told his client to stay in his lane. That's not unusual. Um, uh, look, I think um, it's, it's quite normal, surprisingly, for clients to want to be involved in the matter, obviously. But to be so involved that they're actually, you know, kind of doing your job, Look, it's not unusual, but you really got to make sure that you are, you're doing the job with which you're paid to do and you're not getting kind of overridden by your client trying to micromanage you because lawyers are not allowed to be mouthpieces. He's just basically told his client to stay in his lane, to shut up and let him do his job. You probably would have had these conversations long before now, but he's having them now. Okay, look... Oh, I kind of like this. It's kind of real. His client's a bit of a dick. Um, that's pretty TV show-ish. Um, we we'll just have to see how this plays out. But the courtroom space looks about right. And in this particular situation, the way that they've talked about um, uh, selecting the jury is about right. There's lots of different ways to select the jury. And of course, um, every jurisdiction has its own differences. But generally, they're chosen randomly. Generally, you, you choose out the ones you think are not going to be answering and not going to think the way you want to think, i.e. the lemmings in a box. And of course, the other side are going to be doing the same thing. But what really ends up happening is you get a bunch of people who don't want to be there, uh, who, don't, who, who, who have no idea what they're going to do next. Um, Thank you very much everyone that is the law cast for today hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the lincoln lawyer episode 5 12 lemmings in a box with mickey heller explaining what the jurists are going to be doing see you again next time